My apologies to our Disney fans that watch the channel, but this video, it had to be done. Rick's top six, party time, excellent. Rick's top six, party time, excellent. Here are our top six reasons why we think Universal is better than Disney. It's okay guys to have a different opinion. If you think the opposite, leave me some comments, let me know your reasons for your opposite opinion. But these are the reasons why we think Universal is better. Let me give you the inspiration for this video. Here at Universal, I would run into so many people who would tell me, hey Rick, we used to be Disney fans, now we're Universal fans? So you guys, you're the inspiration for this. Let's get started. The first reason why we think Universal is better than Disney World right now, you know what happened this morning? I woke up, felt like going to Universal, grabbed my pass, came on in. Didn't have to make no stinking reservation. So reason number one, you don't have to make reservations to go to Universal like you do at Disney World. Yeah, Rick is a spontaneous kind of guy. Um, even when we make plans, he doesn't necessarily follow through with the plans that we decide. So. No, I do not. Yeah. Luckily, here at Universal, I don't need to make plans. Roll out of my bed, pop on over. <laughs> the second reason why we think Universal is better than Disney World right now, it seems like at Disney World, you are tied to your phone. Mm -hmm. Not so much the case here at Universal. The Universal app on your phone most definitely is a useful tool, but it's totally not necessary. I mean, you can use it for mobile ordering and checking wait times and things like that, but you do not have to be tied to it. With Disney World, it does seem like you are a little more tethered to that phone, especially if you're using Disney Genie Plus, and then it seems like they almost force you to mobile order your food. I have tricks around that, but for them, they really, really want you to use that mobile order that's on your phone. What happens is you go to the restaurant you want to eat at and they ask you if you have mobile ordered. If you say no, they refer you to your phone to mobile order your food. My trick around this, I tell them my phone's dead and then they send me straight to a standby queue to go order my food. You like that? You see how I mixed in one of Rick's tricks into your Rick's top six? And that sort of dovetails into the next reason why Universal is better than Disney World right now. Universal guests, they are way more relaxed. Disney guests, they are so stressed. I can kind of attest to that myself. For example, those guests, they're on their Disney Genie Plus app, trying to make a return time for their lightning lane. Little Jimmy, eating an ice cream bar. He's taking too long. Mom's over there. Come on, little Jimmy. We gotta go get in line. Yeah, even though the Universal Express Pass may be a little bit more pricey, when it comes down to it, there's a lot less stress because you can hop into lines whatever you want, when you want. Again, you can be spontaneous. Sponta yep, spontaneity is, must be the theme of the day. <laughs> Let's be real, all theme parks are expensive, but it seems like a vacation to Disney World a little more expensive, maybe causing a little more stress, Nick? Oh, for sure. I'm, I think there's a lot of pressure too of we paid a lot for this vacation. We got to get the most out of it. And you know, everything is so scheduled and so regimented to get the most out of that vacation that it's hard to relax and you know, about the money that you've spent. Little and Jimmy, we spent a lot of money on this vacation. You're going to have a good time. Stop crying. Also the crowd level. All theme parks get crowded, but at least Universal seems to have some slow periods during the year, whereas Disney, it's a constant busy cycle of people. I don't think there's anything I would classify as a slow or downtime for Disney anymore. You want to know another reason why Universal is killing it, why it's better than Disney World right now? Well, as we enter Diagon Alley here, we can see Universal has the best themed, most immersive lands in any theme park anywhere. So here's an illustration to help make my point. Before Universal brought the Wizarding World into theme parks, what would you say was the best themed area of like Disney World or Universal? I don't know. Uh, Liberty Square area. Frontierland. Frontier kind yeah. of that maybe section. 
So that was your high water mark probably. So you see what Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade has brought to the theme park community. I will say this though. Once Universal did the Wizarding World, Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade, Disney tried to up their game, didn't they? Oh for sure, with Avatar mm -hmm. and Toy Story Land and Galaxy's, Galaxy's Edge. Edge. For sure, so because of the Wizarding World, maybe put a little pressure on Disney to level up. Competition makes everyone better. It does, and it, hey, who's benefiting? All us. of us. us. Even with Disney up for their game, they kind of missed their mark on Galaxy's Edge. That's what's it. Now, the Falcon there is great. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. But, uh, you know, having that land be set in the sequel era, not like the original trilogy, may be a mistake. And may be a mistake Universal can learn from with Epic Universe. This is the point. Maybe not do Fantastic Beasts there, keep it the original Harry Potter time frame. Huh. And it's not just the Wizarding World. I mean, we can mention Springfield and The Simpsons. We can talk about Jurassic Park, Jurassic World as well. All highly themed areas. I will say though, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is my favorite just because of all the, you know, the stores and the food and the, you know, the places to eat for sure and the rides and even the magical wand spots. I mean, it is one of the most highly themed areas in all of Central Florida. It's the gold standard for theme parks for sure. It's like you step into the movies and into the books. For sure. I mean, and you don't even have to be a like massive Harry Potter fan to be able to appreciate the you know, immersiveness of this area and just stepping out of reality and into this other world. Good point. The best themed areas. Another reason why Universal is better than Disney World right now, in our opinion. In our opinion. You know what? Now that we've started this video, I think we're going to end up with more than just Rick's top six. And one reason why I think we're going to go over six, I can't remember what we're on. I think we're on five right now. Okay. I think, I don't know. <laughs> but the next reason, this reason why Universal is better than Disney, bigger, better thrill rides. The big fast roller coasters, kind of what Universal is known for. Rip Ride Rocket. The Hulk. Velocicoaster, even Hagrid even is really Hagrid's. thrilling. Yeah, for sure. Now Disney does have some some thrill rides. Mm -hmm. I would I would classify or say, I think Everest is the biggest thrill for me over at Disney currently. Currently, yes, I would agree with that, for we'll, sure. We'll see what Tron brings or Guardians of the Galaxy brings, but you know, for the thrill rides at Disney, it seems like I have to move around a lot. Like there's one at this park, and then there's one at another park, and this one and that one. So it's kind of spread out, and there's like one per park. So it seems like Universal has more thrill rides, and they're more condensed in one area. For sure, and that appeals to, I would say, like late elementary, middle school and up. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's a very family-friendly park for sure. They still have a lot of, you know, kid rides and things like that, but I mean, when you're leveling up, you know, the intensity of the ride, Universal's the way to go. Currently at Disney World, one of their parks, it's Disney's Hollywood Studios, they have a rock and roller coaster that has inversions. I think that is the only Disney World ride that will take you upside down. So if you're looking to go a little higher, drop a little further, and go a little faster, for sure, Universal is better than Disney. Here's the reason why Universal is better than Disney World right now, in our opinion. Um, the special events. The theme park special events at Universal, they're better. They're top notch. When it comes to Mardi Gras and HHN, yeah. they really are very good. Halloween Horror Nights, in our opinion, the best theme park special event ever. Yeah. But Halloween Horror Nights, that is one you have to pay extra for. Mm -hmm. Universal has some great events that come with your price of admission, such as Mardi Gras. Grinchmas. Uh, with Mardi Gras, you got your great food, you got your parade, that's super fun. Mm -hmm. And like you said, Grinchmas, all the, like the holiday stuff here at Universal is free with your price of admission. And um, I love that, I really do. With Disney, like their special events, like if they're, they're Christmas, mm -hmm. like a Mickey's Very Merry Christmas or something, you have to pay extra for. Mm -hmm. And it, it's quite honestly, I don't even think it's as good as Universal's free holiday celebration. It's, well, the holiday celebration is a bit longer and you get a little bit more time, mm -hmm. for sure. But I think the thing that really 
really makes this list or makes this a true item on this list is Halloween Horror Nights. One of the premier events for sure. If you haven't tried it, if you're a scaredy cat. Like me. She used to be a scaredy cat. She's no longer a scaredy cat. It is now her favorite thing to do in a theme park. Yep. And speaking of special events and festivals and such, one thing that Disney kind of always had on Universal is their festival food, mm -hmm. but that's a change in Universal has upped their ante when it comes to festival food, such as the Mardi Gras food. Oh my goodness, we were just commenting this whole Mardi Gras season. Every dish we've had has been phenomenal, on par with anything Disney does for like their food and wine festival or any festival at Epcot for that matter. Yeah, and it used to be different where Disney just was like a whole different echelon, a whole different, you know, no stratosphere. Level. Yeah, for sure. And now, I mean, really, Universal's putting in a lot of effort to up their game mm -hmm. with the food. Here at Universal, portion sizes seem to be a bit bigger, so you're kind of getting a bigger bang for your buck. Right. I haven't measured it. No. But it does seem to be the case that you're getting a better bang for your buck with the portion sizes. You're right. Maybe Universal's not better, but with the food, the festival food, it is on par with Disney now. The last reason we're going to talk about today why we believe Universal is better than Disney World right now, and really we should have mentioned it earlier, no reason why it needs to be this far down on the list, but Marvel. If you are a fan of Marvel, Spider-Man, Captain America, Hulk, Universal is the place to be, not Disney World. Sure, those meet and greets can only happen here. Marvel Superhero Island, home to such rides as the Incredible Hulk Roller Coaster, Doctor Doom's Fear Fall, The Amazing Spider-Man Ride, mm -hmm. just to name a couple. There's also Storm Force. Yeah. Don't forget that one. <laughs> well, okay, uh, it's all right. And then the meet and greets, right? If you want your picture taken with Captain America, you can't do it at Disney World. You can't. You can do it at Universal's Islands of Adventure, though. Mm -hmm. Now, Disney is going to get the Guardians of the Galaxy Roller Coaster, Cosmic Rewind. And it's probably going to be absolutely amazing. That's one of the rides I am most looking forward to, in fact. Yeah, but for so, there, sure. so you get a little bit of Marvel that way. Uh -huh. But if you're a true Marvel fan, come to Universal. Go to Islands of Adventure, Superhero Island. You won't regret it. And that is it, my friends. The top six or more reasons why we think Universal is better than Disney World right now. If I wanted to, I could do the opposite video. I could come up with six reasons why Disney is better than Universal. Sure. But I picked a side, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> I like both sides, honestly. <laughs> I no longer have a Disney Pass. Um, I love the idea of Disney. It's just, it's so nostalgic and it's so beautiful. And in my mind's eye, I have it as perfect. And then when I get there, I'm always just a little bit disappointed. Yeah. I mean, not in the aesthetic, but just the overall vibe I get um, when I'm there, you know? Yeah. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Right. Um, well, a lot of people are kind of feeling that way lately, so you're not alone. Yeah, I think that's why I'm taking a break for just yeah. a little bit, and maybe I'll buy a day pass here and there. Right. But um, yeah, that's why I let my annual pass go. But like I said earlier, that's all I have for you for now. Until later. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick Splits. And now, click that subscribe button.